Hi guys, this is Bhavan Shankar. In previous session, I shown how to configure the non-leading ledger. In this session, I will show how to configure the extension ledger. Please watch earlier sessions so that you will get conceptual knowledge about ledger settings. Now, extension ledger. What is an extension ledger? We already have plenty discussion about extension ledger. Extension ledger always requires one underlying ledger as base ledger. This is underlying ledger as base ledger. And that underlying ledger must be a standard ledger. That standard ledger again may be a leading ledger or non-leading ledger. Over the above underlying ledger, we have some ledger specific postings. This is about extension ledger. Now, these are the some key points in uh, extension ledger. Ledger creation. We have to create manually for each company and request one underlying standard ledger as base ledger for creation. Integration. Extension ledger not fully integrated with all other subsidiary ledgers like uh, leading ledger. Activation. At any time we can activate or deactivate during the year. The extension ledger we can at any time we can activate or deactivate during the year. Next, fiscally variant, posting period variant and accounting principle. In case of extension ledger, only posting period variant and accounting principle can change as per our requirement. Fiscal error variant must, will be same as per the underlying ledger. Non ledger specific postings in case of F-02 or FB-50. Here no document will be generated and hence physically data will not store in any table in case of extension ledger. Next ledger specific posting FB-01L. Only extension ledger specific postings will be stored physically, data, physically in table in extension ledger. Currencies, first FI currency, second FI currency and freely defileable currencies all we can't change all as per underlying standard ledger only we can't change currency settings overall for extension ledger we can't change anything everything as per its underlying standard ledger only fiscal variant and accounting principle we can change as per our requirements now we will do the configuration part now configuration of extension ledger the node is same which we are using for uh, creation of leading and non leading ledgers click this button and go for new entries give zz I am taking extension ledger for tz01 and it is asking ledger type which type of ledger this is this is extension ledger and what is the extension ledger type it is asking again here we have four items standard zone entries s line items p line items and v zone entries for validation differences what is this slp S is simulation ledger and P is predictive ledger. So I am taking standard general entries. Underlying ledger. Now it is asking underlying ledger. We already discussed extension ledger must have one standard ledger as a base ledger. That standard ledger may be a leading ledger or non-leading ledger. Here I am taking leading ledger as my base ledger. A underlying ledger. Now save. Save. Data was saved. Now assign this extension ledger to our company code. New entries. Give the company code TG10. Just enter. See, as it is as we mentioned, this is extension ledger. It will fetch all the data from its underlying standard ledger. So so this is fiscal variant is grayed out and currency types grayed out all the things are grayed out only we can change either posting period variant or accounting principle if necessary here these two only we can change as per our necessity this way you can create extension ledger as per our requirements now save it data was saved this is about uh, configuration of extension ledger if you find interest in this video please subscribe to my channel and also like and share to others thanks for watching have a nice day